your classic sports cars can go to zero to 60 in four seconds, but what they can also do is brake really quickly. So they measure braking distance and the time that they can go from 60 to zero, and that sometimes is in 60 to 70 feet. So not only can they get going fast, they can stop fast. Well, unfortunately, our brains are not like these high performance sports cars. We cannot go from 60 to zero in 60 feet. It takes a lot of time and diffusion of energy, in fact, for your mind to quiet down prior to bedtime. And this is the concept of implementing a buffer zone for people with trouble falling asleep or insomnia. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and this week we're going to talk about the buffer zone and the importance of having one. As I've talked about elsewhere, the two main physical components of sleep are the homeostatic sleep drive, which is the fuel to sleep, and the circadian rhythm, which is sort of like the body's biological clock that goes in waves and changes throughout the course of the day. If those two things line up, voila, you've got your bedtime. But there's a psychophysical component where the psychological state of the mind can always overcome those two physical components. And that's a common cause of insomnia or difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. The inactive state of mind is what sleep is. If you spend too much time or energy counting sheep, you're going to keep yourself up all night counting sheep. So it doesn't matter if the physical lines up if your psychophysical is going overly active. And that's where a buffer zone needs to be implemented. You may work 16 hours a day and you may be able to drop right into sleep right at 10 p.m. when you're done working, but you might wake up later in the night once that homeostatic sleep drive wears off because your mind is going. You haven't given your mind enough time to relax. So some of the things that need to be implemented is I would recommend at least a 60 minute buffer zone between doing anything that involves intense intellectual activity or anything that brings emotional stress or anxiety and push that away, create a barrier between that and the bedtime. So that's sort of like a winding down period. And this can be any number of relaxing activities. This could be prayer, it could be meditation, uh, it could be reading under dim light. Uh, it could even be things like watching TV, preferably outside of your bedroom and nothing too exciting. But it, what that activity is, is individual to you. And I had a priest once, he said, well, he did his uh, nighttime prayers right before bed, but it would keep his mind going and it would prevent him from falling asleep. So we had him finish his prayers 30 minutes before bed and do something unrelated. Some people do mindfulness meditation, and that helps tremendously. Other people say meditation stresses them out. So for the people who are stressed out by meditation, maybe they shouldn't do that right before bed. Whether it's a hot bath or stretching exercises, whatever the form of relaxation is, you need at least some sort of buffer zone between the rigors of day-to-day -day activity work, family life, other social stressors, and your bedtime. Because when it comes to bedtime, your mind has to be completely deactivated. So picking something to read, picking something to watch, probably shouldn't be news programs, shouldn't be too much of social media, because these things are meant to engage you and excite your mind. So think of something a little more boring. But the important thing is to have that 60-minute buffer zone prior to bedtime, if not longer, because unlike a sports car, you're not going to go from six to zero and have your mind be deactivated instantaneously. That's not how the mind works. The mind does need to cool off over an extended period of time. As always, this video is for general informational purposes only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine. All medical decisions should be made under a licensed medical provider. And as always, and when it comes to a buffer zone, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.